Um, this is day number three, and today I want to talk about, it's kind of random, but I want to talk about how you can, you can kind of tell how you feel inside based on the way that your, either your house, your car, or maybe even the way that your appearance looks. Um, something I really noticed about myself is when I'm feeling especially low and really not good about myself, my apartment and my car turn to absolute shit. That's why actually right now I'm in the process of cleaning my apartment because I'm starting to feel better and I'm starting to, you know, try and get my shit together. But my car and my apartment are a wreck. I'm pretty sure every single dish I have in this house is dirty. Um, there's old food in my car. There's just stuff everywhere. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, um, with yourself, but I, I think it was my mom or someone who used to tell me all the time that, um, what's the saying? That the... Well, basically, in short, I can't remember it right now, but in short, the way that you're, the way that you feel inside shows on the outside. So, whether that means that you're, you know, you're not taking as good care of yourself, not showering, forgetting to brush your teeth, forgetting to eat, forgetting to drink water, which all makes your appearance look bad, um, you know, your quality of sleep goes down because you're not feeling well, so that makes you not look so great, not look so healthy, not feel good, and then, um, our environment, like, the way that our, our homes look, because if we're feeling good and feeling great about ourselves, obviously our places are going to look cleaner, they're going to be more put together, we're going to make sure that everything's tidy and in its place, um, so yeah, I was just thinking like how interesting it is, and that's something I try to notice with myself, I guess you guys can do that too, is if you notice that you're starting not to give as, pay as much attention to the way that your apartment looks, um, or your car is starting to like get really grungy, or, um, you're not showering as much, or you don't smell as good, or um, you keep wearing the same clothes every single day, maybe that's a chance for us to take a step back and think, hmm, what's going on in my life right now that's causing all these things to happen? And when I do that, I, I tend to be like, okay, yeah, the last few days I've been feeling really depressed, or I've been really stressed about my finances, or um, I've just, been, even, if, even maybe you're not feeling bad, but you've just been so busy you haven't been able to take it a, a break or take time out to take care of yourself, um, which is also important because we can't just work, 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 work so hard that we're neglecting our ourselves. Um, we always have to, I try to pick once, one day a week where I just focus on myself and don't focus on work. For a while I was working, you know, five days a week doing a regular job and then Saturday and Sunday all day long I would be prepping for my clients. So I literally worked seven days a week for I, I would probably say a good six months, and I was so burnt out at the end of it. Um, we can't do that to ourselves, we're not robots. I used to say all the time, work really hard while I'm young, um, you know, work six, six, uh, seven days a week while I'm young, work three different jobs while I'm young, because I can do it, I have the energy. But the reality is, we do it now when we're young, and then by the time we get older and we can actually take a break, we have a heart attack and die. Like, I don't know if you've heard about those stories of people who work their entire lives, like, you know, 30 years, really hard, really hard so they can retire young, and then they take their first vacation with their poor wife or poor husband who's been sitting around waiting for them to actually uh, pay attention to them and, and take care of themselves and go on a vacation, and then, like, they get there and they have a heart attack and they die because their body has been so used to this high level of stress and high level of adrenaline that they then pass out and die. Their heart's like, wow, this is a kind of a low level for me. And it just, it just conks out. And that's all she wrote. So I guess this is about keeping our homes clean, but mostly keeping our minds clean, keeping our health clean, um, taking care of ourselves when we get really busy, um, not getting plastered drunk when you have a day off. Um, so instead of going to, you know, happy hour every day, maybe go for a run or Go get a massage. Go to the day spa once a uh, once a week or once a month if you can't afford it. Um, pamper yourself at home. Sometimes I take a day and I just do my hair, give myself a facial, do my nails, um, all at home. Yeah, maybe I'll have a, a beer or a glass of wine um, if I'm feeling like I can mentally handle the alcohol. Sometimes I can't.
So, um, yeah, that was just on my mind, and I thought I'd take a little break from cleaning and mention it, because I thought that it was important, and I think ultimately we need to remember to take care of ourselves, um, and then everything else in our life will be okay. So, thanks for watching. Day number three, and I guess this is about maintaining a healthy work-life balance. I think that's a good title. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.